So as expected, today is the launch of the new DJI Air 3S. And as you can bet for sure, there's a new update. And just to prove it, there's the new update for the uh, DJI Fly app. So what's new? It's the 1.15.0 and it adds support for the DJI Air 3S compatible with the RCN3, the RCN2 and the DJI RC2 remote controller. So guys, so you've got the, the app, you've got the RC2 controller and I've only got the DJI RCN2 controller. Obviously, for those people that's got the new controller, which is the RCN3, they will need to be updated. What I will be doing, I will be checking through, will this need updating? And I've got my Mini 3. So we'll just see what happens. Okay, so it's just, at the moment, I'm just installing it on the RC2. Will anything be different? I would not thought so, guys. I think it's all to do with the new uh, Air 3S. Um, but I'd be amazed the amount of people that's got the Air 3S today. Obviously, all the YouTube gods have already got theirs, and no doubt YouTube is full of them. Of what, how wonderful the Air 3S is. And I expect it is, but as I said in my other previous video, which I put there, I won't be buying it. It's just not for me. I've got my Air 3 it's a good enough for me for the moment. Maybe when they bring out the Air 4, I might consider it. But at the moment, no. Now, this could be different. I'm sure they're going to be bringing out uh, Neo Pro. But we'll see. <laughs> Already, I'm updating my RC2, and the firmware for that is the DJI RC2 V04.01000. Because it goes on and on, um, and it's just the same. Added support for the new DJI Air 3S and fixed some known issues. So that's interesting. Some known issues. I didn't think there was any problems with the RC2. Or was there thinking about it? No, I had a my air free was having a, a problem with the speed, but I know that's been sorted. Um, be interesting though from you guys what problems you've been having with your RC2. But as far as I know, everything is fine. What I will do, I will check the Neo as well. Um, I'll probably also put on my air free as well because it's obviously for people that's got. So many drones like me, it's always interesting to know what you need to upload, update, I mean. So, back in MO. So, I've just opened up my RCN2. You can see already I've got a download on that as well. So, I'm just about to do now. So, this is, um, I haven't connected up my Neo yet, so I can turn that off at the moment. Guys, you don't need to have the drones on at the moment. Um, I've turned off my Mini 4 Pro for my RC2. <laughs> now, thankfully, I haven't got the new RCN free controller, or else I would be doing free control. Now, what I can say, there's no update for the RC, uh, which is for the Mini 3 Pro, at the moment. I don't know, because obviously there is an issue. Uh, no, sorry. Oh, yeah, I don't know. There, there have been some issues with the RC to do with the Mini 3 Pro because um, I did a video the other day, somebody's having problems with their hyperlapse and somebody else was telling me about um, something about the return to home keeps changing for some reason. I, I, I will be checking it out later on in the week about that. Um, the other one is obviously the RCM1 controller for my Mini 2. Um, my Mini 2 it's got a problem, and I think it's to do with the controller itself. So I'm hoping that DJI will do another update on the RCM1, but is that ever going to happen, unfortunately? The problem is, when they keep bringing out new controllers, they do seem to forget uh, about the older models. Um, and obviously, now we've got the RCM3, will they ever update it? But we'll see what happens. Anyway, but today, 
RCM1 doesn't need updating, and obviously the RC controller for the Mini 3 Pro doesn't need updating. It's all go here. Oh, I'm not nearly the RCN2. It's nearly uploaded already, so I will be checking in the Mo uh, the Neo. Back in a Mo. So I've disconnected up my Neo to my RCN2, and you can see at the top there it's saying the uh, RCN2 remote controller firmware has been installed. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to do a quick test flight um, while we're in there, just to make sure it's all fine. No doubt it will be. Um, let me just do take off. Okay, so anyway, that, that, that's, that's looking good. <laughs> I always forget the Terrier guy. Just above me, I've got a fan going around because it's a bit, it's still a bit hot here in Spain. And when it comes, I know it goes up to about three foot and it always makes me really, because imagine it, because it wouldn't do very well with the fan up there. Anyway, that's looking far. I'll just go on to um, the abouts just to see. Um, so I got the new app version, which is the 1.15.0. I'll just do a quick check for updates. I don't think there'd be an update. Yeah, so that's fine. So it does look like today it's just the controllers. But what's interesting, my RC2... It's only done 13% at the moment. It seems to be taking its while. So I'll get back to you in a mo. I'll tell you what, that RC2 didn't have to take a while to um, load up. Anyway, it's all been downloaded now. I'm going to check the drone in a moment, but I'm, as I went into it, um, if you notice on the screen here, it's got the DJI Air 3S from beginner to expert. Obviously, they've done videos already, which is a good idea. Tutorials, obviously, um, but like many of us, won't be able to get the air free straight away. Probably take us about a couple of days for the lucky ones, and probably a couple of weeks for the other ones that don't press that boy button today. So, we're just going to go back onto that. I'm just going to connect up my um, air free MO. No. So, what I will do, I'll just do uh, another place to check as well if you go into profile and sometimes you get a little red dot I'll just go into settings there uh, check for firmware updates so I'm sure it's we don't yeah so that's good so guys just a update on the controllers really and obviously the fly app itself um, I haven't got the RCN free but just the controllers need updating. I did check some of the main drones, which is the Neo, the Mini 4 Pro, and the Air 3. They, they didn't need updating. What I will do in the week, obviously, I'll be going out flying anyway, and I'll see if there's any problems. I don't think there is. It's just to do with the new drone that's come out. So, you people out there who's pressed the buy button, it'd be great to hear from you, uh, and it'd be great to see your reviews. I mean, I do like watching, obviously, the... YouTube gods, but I always like to watch independent viewers who've just gone out and bought the, the new drone. I think you get a clearer picture then as well. Anyway, as always, guys, thank you much for watching. There's sure there's going to be another new video coming very soon. Mm -hmm.